ka na ba? Alas sa isna ng gabi. Travel well na. Travel well. Let your wellness take you to places. Makipagkwentuhan kasama si Ms. Christine Verdeflor Mahadillas. Dito lamang sa Travel Well. Sa impilang may todong lakas. DWIC 882. Travel Well. Let your wellness take you to places. Mga kababayan, <laughs> hello po, traffic na naman, but it's a good, great, great Monday evening at 6 p.m. and it's travel well. Ayan. So, yung mga nata-traffic po dyan, kasama ko, hello po, good evening, relax lang po tayo. <laughs> Everything will be okay. So, ganyan naman talaga, mag-Monday, medyo sanay na tayo sa traffic, but then yes, it's a Monday, fruitful Monday evening. Ayan, yung mga nanonood po dyan sa kanilang mga TV at yung nanonood po sa mga radyo nila. At of course, live din po tayo sa Facebook, DWI say Otso Otso Dos. Of course, um, Aliu 23, we just have lunch. Ayan, so magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Christine Verdeflor Mahadilias. And we are here, excited to showcase to you for the month of February, our upcoming Uh, wellness and travel programs. Ayan. So, can you, uh, we will be showing to you some video uh, clips of some of the highlights natin po nung weekend, ano po. And we will be sharing to you some of the wonderful destinations na pupuntahan po natin. Um, travel Well is actually partnering with the home. The home of the Olympia, Ms. Heidi Lindia, in featuring some wanga. Alongside with, of course, the Department of Tourism as we support the tourism of our country, the Philippine Islands. Why not? We have 7,107 islands to be featured. So we have to double, triple time, no? Para po ma-feature natin lahat. Ayan. Good evening po. Ayan yung mga na- nakikinig sa atin na nasa kanika nilang mga tahanan. And of course, yung mga traffic tulad ko. Ayan. <laughs> good evening, good evening ho. Ayan. So, we would like to uh, bring you to some places this Monday evening as we share to you some videos. Again, um, Sambuanga Peninsula with the four islands that we will be featuring in the next coming weeks. Ito pong February 12, I would like to announce that we will be having an event in Sambuanga City, Onse Islas. Ayan, Onse Islas. O diba? Something unique. Malamang yung iba sa atin, hindi pa talaga nakakapunta doon. Ako din, pupuntahan pa lang po natin sa February 12 because um, there will be a swim circuit, open water circuit in Sambuanga on the Islas. This is under, of course, the initiative of the Sambuanga community. It's the Department of Tourism initiative. And yun nga po, diba? yung, yung ating programa really supports Um, our community when it comes to promoting our own islands in the Philippines. Ayan. So, good evening po yung mga taga-department of uh, tourism, Region 9. Hello, Director Dara. Hi, Charles and the team of Sambuanga Open Water uh, Swim Club headed by uh, Coach Jap- Jappy. Hello. Sina ano, Oliver. Ayan. Sina Sir Jong. Tsaka sina Coach Noel. Hello po. Good evening. Because yung event na to, talagang pinaghandaan po nila, di ba? This is the first time ever to have like a four-leg open water swim. So, last Saturday, I was able to uh, attend the media conference of the Sam- Sampen event. So, yung ating pong guest, I think nung nakaraan ay na-meet natin nung Sabado, yung institusyon ng swimming, no? Si Ms. Lani Velasco, the president of uh, Philippine Swim Inc., the association, the National Association of uh, the Swimming Industry in the Philippines, was there present. And of course, Ms. Uh, Coach Angelo Lozada, who is the COO of the Bert Lozada Swim School. Ito naman po ay talagang haligi na ng swimming in the Philippines. They, are, they have actually celebrated their 67th years last Saturday. So it's good to have this institution helping each other, both private and public, supporting the advocacy of SWIM. And of course, SWIM really brought uh, a lot of 
uh, benefits to us no sa community sa Sambuanga in itself they're doing this not only for tourism but also to enhance the livelihood of ano Sambuanggenyos ayan so yung mga uh, taga Sambuanga po ano uh, the, the DOT really has this program of equipping the people and the community to to deliver excellent hospitality when it comes to tourism. Ayan. So that, di ba, pag pumunta dyan yung ating mga tourists, uh, both national, international, nakahanda ang Zamboanga. And yung ano po, ano, yung dati na iniisip ng mga tao na, ay, nakakatako, nakakatakyot. <laughs> Hindi na po nakakatakot. Zamboanga is so safe right now. Um, I think yung yung uh, yung th- yung thought about that na hindi masyado uh, okay pero noong unang panahon pa po yun siguro mga three decades ago but now Samuanga is so safe it's really a wonderful place to visit masarap yung pagkain doon yung mga tao sobrang babait I've been there actually last, last ano uh, December I visited and then na-share ko sa inyo before but then of course yung isla hindi ko napuntahan but then I visited some of the places of Samuanga the Samuanga del Norte at Dapitan yan so napaka-safe napaka-babait ng mga community tumutulong sila even yung mga nasa e-bike eh talagang handa ng handa kayong pagsilbihan hanggang sa may isa, ilang beses ako na, naghanap ng unang ATM machine siguro nakaikot ka rin <laughs> six times Eh, pero po, kahit gano'n naka-down, eh, talagang tumulong po si Kuya, si Manong, na makahanap ako ng ATM machine nung nag-ikot po ako sa Sambuanga. Ay, of course, there are a lot of things to be improved pa. But then, again, the nature in itself, Sambuanga is really blessed with the landscape. Ayan. So, we're so happy to be part of this, you know, as a media partner for the Sambuanga Peninsula Upper Water Swim. And um, we are truly, truly excited to, to ano, to be there this February 12. So for those who want to experience something new, such as the Onsa Islas, this is the best time to visit it. Ayan. So, actually po, yung, ano, yung event na to, um, ang bilis na nagsara agad yung registration kasi napunuhu agad eh. Because we want to take care of the safety of the of the place. We want to make sure this, of the safety of the athletes or the swimmers we limit it to 100. Actually, nagdagdag na lang kami ng 50 kasi sobrang dami po talaga yung gusto. So, meaning, uh, as a media partner, we were updated, you know, of the development when it comes to ilang registrants na, ganyan. So, anyway, sabi nga ni Dr. Dara, uh, Director Dara, no, in the next coming uh, years, they will make it an annual event. So, they will strengthen the development of sports tourism of Samuanga. Especially nga po na, this is the hometown of our Olympian, Miss Heidi Lindias. According to Miss Teresa, the the princess din ng ano ng Zamboanga City, no? She she was also part of the guest last Saturday who attended the press conference. Heidi, Miss Heidi Lindias is their princess, of course. So of course they are uh, looking forward that Miss Heidi Lindias will be present uh, at least one of the legs of this ano open water swim circuit to promote aqua sports, not only aqua sports, but of course to promote the Zamboanga tourism in itself. Ayan. So, okay, before we proceed, sige, let's showcase the videos, the wonderful videos, so that we will get to have a taste of Samuanga on the Isla. Travel well. Let your wellness take you to places. Kasama si Ms. Christine Verdeflor Mahadilias. Good evening again. This is Ms. Christine Verdeflor Mahadilias. Ang inyong lingkod pa for travel well. Ayan, so you've seen the videos kanina. Sobrang ganda, no? Um, you know, Philippines really blessed to have this kind of destination, this kind of landscape na i-compare nyo naman po talaga sa ibang bansa, eh, walang panawma ang ibang bansa, di ba? <laughs> Ayan, uh, the most wonderful beaches, the most wonderful landscape, eh, nandito po sa Pilipinas. Kaya meron po nga tayong 7,000, eh. Yun nga po, eh, sabay-sabay natin i-explore yung mga isla sa Pilipinas. Ayan. So anyway, bago po ang lahat, no, ano ko lang, i- i-share ko lang po sa inyo na kailangan po natin mag-ingat-ingat ngayon, no, kasi marami pong uh, nagkakalat na snatchers pa rin. Imagine nyo po kaninang morning, nasa Makinli po ako, Forbes pa, kasi oh, eh, from Ayala, from Ayala, 
uh, I mean, usually po pag morning, nag-jogging po ako, ano, yung kaba- kahabaan ng makinig going to Forbes, eh, ginajog ko lang po yon every morning. Eh, na taon po, eh, syempre, habang nag, habang pabalik na ho, eh, minsan, eh, nag-text po talaga tayo. So, <laughs> kasi wala naman akong, hindi ko ini-expect na area pala ng Forbes makinli, eh, meron ding snatcher at nakasakay po sa motor. Um, nakita ko, eh, naka, ano, uniform siya, eh, syempre, hindi ko ma-judge kung ano yon kung, kung yung ano ba yon kung ano bang brand yon ng motor. So, anyway, mag-ingat po tayo, and, uh, siguro, lesson learn na rin sa akin na huwag gagamit ng phone. <laughs> While on the road, kahit naglalakad, nagjajag, nagaantay ng sasakyan, whatsoever. Just kasi kanina, um, I am to uh, send a, a, a quick email ng maaga. So, ginamit ko yung phone ko while I'm on the road. Kasi nga, hindi ko naman din na expect Akala ko wala nang uso. Akala ko hindi uso ngayon yung mga ganyan. Pero uso pa rin pala. Anyway, sige po. So, um, yun lang. Mag-ingat-ingat tayo ngayon, lalo na ng mga panahon na to. Ano po. So, Ayun, mabalik po tayo doon sa ano, sa pinag-uusapan natin na um, home of the Olympian. So, napakaganda ng Samuanga, napakaganda ng mga island po ng Samuanga, ano po. So, in kanina yung tinalabas po natin, we will be showing to you more of the, those video uh, after this. Um, so, gusto ko kong italabas ulit sa inyo yung mga videos, no? Um, there will be mo- more videos. Um, let me show to you. Yes. Good evening po. Ayan. I'm here. Ayan. Nakita niyo na ba ako? <laughs> Ayan. Good evening. Ayan, ganyan. The show must go on. Ayan. Kahit na wala ang aking phone. Ganun talaga. Anyway. Sige po. Nakita niyo yung video kanina. <laughs> Sorry. Ayan. So we just want to make sure that, you know, we can still give you um, the best, the best of the best contents, no? That's why we're bringing you to places. Yung mga... Yung mga fini-feature po namin dito are not just the usual one. So, ayun po. Thank you. Maraming salamat sa pag-aantay. Kanina nasa, naka-audio lang ho ako eh. Kasi, yun nga po. So, something, hindi natin talaga. The show must go on. Hindi natin minsan inaasahan na, yun, mangyayari yung mga yan. Mga nawawala mo. <laughs> so, mag-iingat po tayo, ano. Uh, the good thing is, phone lang ang na-snatch. At hindi ako, di ba? <laughs> anyway, so yun po, no. So, we're talking about, um, sports tourism kanina. And why not, diba? We are so proud to have Miss Heidi Lindias as our number one, the only, one and only Olympian of the Philippines. And it must, uh, it is a, but a must for us to feature saan ba nanggaling si Heidi Lin? Sa Zamboanga City, diba? So, gusto natin makita, ano ba yung environment meron ang isang Heidi Lin Diaz when she was growing up? And we will be featuring that. Yung gym na pinatayo niya. Kasi she, herself has a advocacy as well for her community. Ang maganda po eh, yun nga eh, tayo mga Pilipino, ano talaga eh, parang we always think about not only ourselves but also others talaga. Yun naman po talaga yung ano, nakaka-bless na no. So, the moment that we uh, have success, we want to share it with our loved ones, with our friends, with our community. So, yun naman talaga yung totoong success. Success is not just about achieving your own goals, but achieving um your goals together with your loved ones and even the community. Kasi mas fulfilling po, ano, ang life pag nasishare po natin sa iba. So anyway, yun nga po, ano, so and we're so happy that last Saturday we were able to witness the collaboration and partnership of both the private sector and the public sector when it comes to really uh, strengthening and boosting the sports tourism in the Philippines. So, yun nga po, ano, nung Sabado nakakatuwa na uh, even for a short notice, I guess um, the, the the team of uh, Coach Angelo Lozada, who is the son of Mr. Bert Lozada, who's been there for 67 years na in the industry of swimming, was there. Even though nag celebrate siya ng nag celebrate sila ng 67th anniversary, he didn't miss the ano, press conference of the Sambuanga Open Water Swim Circuit because, in a way, they will even support the ano this uh, new the new the new sports aqua sports pala aqua sports tourism in the philippines so uh miss miss dara i think the department of tourism regional director along with the team sa nang sambuanga community are so happy um they're so excited dahil tuturuan po no ng ng club along with the schools yung ano yung community kung paano kasi minsan kahit tayo napapalibutan ng dagat no 
uh, it's also it's also good to train our uh, community kung paano yung uh, life saving kung paano yung ayun kunwari um marunong tayo lumangoy pero minsan iba yung <laughs> iba yung langoy ano ba yung langoy aso but then what we're trying to say is that um as we boost the the tourism industry definitely we want to have like uh, be surrounded with ano with equipped coaches no so uh, equipped coaches and equi equipped tourist guides so that yung experience po ng ano nung nung ating mga turista will be of course excellent pagdating sa pagdating dun sa destination because of course aside from the beautiful destinations that we have we would like to also make sure that we can deliver excellent hospitality and not only hospitality our people are really knowledgeable enough to extend their services when it comes to assisting our tourists ayan yun po on that way mapapaigting talaga yung turismo ng ating bansa and one more good thing is that well, hindi lang one more. Probably there's other five more reasons why did they come up with this event. Ang sabi nga po nila is yung preservation of nature, yung environment, uh, protected environment uh, sa, sa Sambuanga, like yung lake. Um, one of the lake actually, uh, this is the first time that they, they allowed for us to have like um, this kind of event, no? So, but the good thing about it, yung community tinuruan talaga sila kung paano i-preserve yung yung nature yun so same thing with what i shared to you last time no meron kasi ano meron kasi mga areas pa sa Philippines sa mga sub rural areas with lushes of greens and water na talagang sobrang virgin pa yung mga tu katubigan yung lake yun nga po the river talagang drinkable pa why not ba so we would like to to showcase that kasi at times yun nga nakakalimutan natin na oh, hindi lang naman Boracay at Palawan yung maganda sa Pilipinas so we, we will together explore those islands so as i've said um, let your wellness as we said dun sa ating sa ating mantra no let your wellness take you to places so yung mga nanonood at nagpapakinig diyan good evening good evening ho I, we hope that you are in well condition right now alam po natin na Maulan the, the past few days and then yeah don't forget to bring your umbrellas um at the same time uh during this period alam ko na sobrang traffic okay relax lang kasi ang stress ayan hindi nakakaganda so calmness <laughs> is truly important ayan kasi kahit tayo mag stress there are really things that are beyond our control so yung kaya nung natin i-control is our emotion. So, how we handle things, our reaction, definitely uh, will, will, ano, will be a big part on how we live our life, di ba? Kasi kung mag-stress tayo of things that we cannot control, then, ayan, nakakatanda yun. Ayun. So, anyway, nung ano, nung kailan ba yun? Kailan ba yung, okay, nung Sabado, tawag dito, sabi sa akin, um, Miss Dean, 29 ka na, wow, o, ba? Hindi ako 29 ho, nasa line of, ano na ho ako. Kung baga, kung sa, kung sa, camp, sa corporate company, kung nakadalawang dekada na no ho ako, eh, alam niyo na kung anong age ko. <laughs> Ayan. So, anyway, we would like to thank, of course, ang ating team, napakusay na team, our tech engineer, June Aguba, Jeric Barreto, CA Jessa Barameda, our writers, Jen Patrolia, uh, of course, ang next program natin, announce ko na kasi last time, hindi, hindi ko na banggit. Ang kapatiran para sa bayan with CSCWC Connect. Ayan. So anyway, um, before we have like a short break, we have another short break, gusto ko lamang ho eh, i-announce pala, again, our program, our contest. Ayan, tuloy pa rin po yung contest natin, no? So, um, we will be awarding the best video content yun po yung contest natin that you will be featuring your uh, identified island yung para sa inyong best of the best island if we feature po natin doon send in your entries you will definitely um, we will be definitely awarding three winners ayan with the best content video kung saan man yan sa likod ng bakuran nyo nagpunta kayo sa beach kung saan mang uh, sulok ng Pilipinas basta nasa Pilipinas po you can send in your entries and share to us so we can feature you together with your destination ayan here at Travel Well and then Yung isa would be, di ba yung isang contest pa natin is that we would like for you to take part of this show as we develop yung uh, musical scoring po natin ng, ano, ng, ng Travel Well. Kasi kung napapakinggan nyo, 
parang ano ba yun? Pearly shell ba yun? <laughs> maganda siya, of course maganda siya. But we would like to evolve and make it more young, hip, para makakonect din po yung younger people and younger generation natin. Ayan. So anyway, I still have five minutes. I would like to, ano lang, give this, ano, uh, share to you some insights lang, no, nung nakaraan. Because I have experienced these things na parang, I have discovered new things na gusto ko lang i-share. Kasi parang, uh, sa akin parang, uh, it's new na, na napakinig ko tong ano, uh, yung, meron kasi akong na-discover na last, ay, kailan ba yun? Last week, okay. So there are friends um, na in-endorse sa akin para magpatulong, you know, to... In a way, because, um, well, aside from the show, no, I have also my own business po, no? So, but then, anyway, ang discover ko lang, alam niyo ho yung, ano, uh, athletes na tinatawag. Kasi there are professional athletes, and even Olympics, and then Southeast Asia, uh, SEA Games, has this, what they call, esports. Ayan. So, ang esports po, hindi po siya yung bawal na, uh, uh, hindi po siya gamble. But it's a, esports is a form of, Sports digitally, okay. So, kung kilala niyo si Miss Alodia, she's one of the pro when it comes to ah tinatawag dito ng e athletes ba? O di ba athletes? Alaga sabi ko yung mga younger generation alam nila to, kasi talagang naglalaro sila, okay. So yung mga parents jan, yung mga parents jan, sige. Ano niyo mo um titig titig na niyo kano ng nilalaro na mga mga anak natin, no? But then I I think before we proceed. We have to have a, sh a short break at 6.50. Yeah. So, okay. I'll be back. Travel well. Travel well. Let your wellness take you to places. Kasama si Ms. Christine Verdeflor Mahadilias. Po. Again, this is Travel Well. Hello, good evening, Monday evening. It is a wonderful Monday evening. Anyway po kanina, as I was sharing to you, um, ayun, so, yung mga kabataan po natin, kung makikita natin, they're really into this uh, e-sports that they, they, they are saying. Akala ko nga talaga noon, parang hindi ko masyadong naiintindihan yung e-sports. Para naging sports yan? Ano yung sports na yan? Para naging sports yung games? Eh, games nga eh. <laughs> Pero na naunawaan ko, when I spoke to one of the team uh, manager of uh, this kind of so-called e-sports, uh, sabi niya, teen, kaya nga siya nasa, in ano eh, kaya nga siya nasa SEA Games eh. ba diba? Actually, ito sa part of SEA Games nga din talaga nung 2019. And then it's also part, I, I guess, with the Olim Olympics daw. So anyway, ang kirento niya, sabi ko, kasi mahirap, I mean, uh, for me, I thought really it's, you know, yung mga geeks pa, yung mga genius natin, yung naka, nalagi, naka, naka, ano na lang, katutok sa phone the whole time, minsan, parang 12 hours na, parang sabi ko, napaka-unhealthy, I think, paano natin yan susuportahan, sabi ko ganun. So, sabi naman sa akin, kasi, of course, I'm into wellness, the wellness industry, no? So, sabi sa akin, you know what, Tin? Meron pa yung coach, may assistant coach pa. And we really monitor their regimen. O, di ba? May regimen pala yung mga e-athletes or nasa e-sports. So, for example, yun nga, si Miss Alodia and uh, sila yung mga ano. Si Alden Richards had this tournament last time daw. So, sabi ko, talaga, alam ko kasi si Mr. Alden is also a Christian. So, sabi ko, sino support niya yun? Yes, because it's also... Um, it's actually not bad to have e-sports. Siguro yung connotation ng iba is about, kasi iba yung e-sports, tsaka iba po yung e-games. Ayan po. Ang hindi maganda yun. Sorry, hindi ko pwede magsalita ng ganun. But anyway, e-sports na lang. Of course, we are a positive, optimistic show here. So we would like to promote things that are for wellness. Ayan. So anyway, again, kaya nga po gusto kong enlighten, no? Um, there's nothing wrong with e-sports. E e e okay? So that's why they call this... Uh, gamers or players or athletes they call themselves athletes talaga ho okay we can research on that so meron silang coach may assistant coach and you know what they only um use the digital devices until 11 p.m and they make sure they had eight hours of sleep and in the morning after upon waking up they would eat the right kind of food and breakfast and at the same time okay at the same time bago sila mag umupo at gumamit nung pagiging e-sports athlete nila ay nagbabasketball sila at talagang pwede nalang gawin yung 100 push up bago daw po umupo at gamitin yung ano platform nila so 
It's good to know, no? So, kaya pala tinatawag silang athletes because they also observe a regimen or discipline. Ayan. So, this is an enlightenment for those moms, dad, who are worried about their children. Uy, yung anak ko mahusay kasi parating awardee. Pero nag-aalala ako because I don't think he is, you know, having a balanced, well, uh, balanced lifestyle with the, the ano, the e-sports. Ayan. So, yung e-sports po, this is something with discipline naman and regimen. So, wag po tayong mag-alala. And especially na if, if your child is part of uh, the athlete's team, na may coach, may assistant coach, ibig sabihin po talaga, there are serious athletes, professional athletes, meaning, they are being monitored to follow a certain regimen, na may enough sleep sila, may good nutrition, and at the same time, they really exercise. Ayan. So, sabi ko nga, sige nga, i-feature nga natin yung team na ganon, talagang nag-o-observe ng ganon. <laughs> o baka chika lang yun. But of course, yes, I believe in that because may yung mismong ano, si Mark, the the manager of one of the team na nag-join dun sa tournament ni Mr. Alden Richards, who won, is, has really witnessed um, this kind of dynamics that, you know, the esports have. So again, it's already a new sport. It's because they are also observing a strict regimen when it comes to um, being an athlete. Same as the athlete. That's the discipline of, you know, being an athlete. Ayan. So anyway, yung, ano, yung, ayun, yung sinasabi ko kanina, ho, ano, na we'll, we will be going there in Samwanga by next week. So we will be sharing to you um, you know, the highlights and the the unique um, spots and destinations dun po sa Sambuanga. So, abangan nyo po yan next week po. So, anyway, yun. Maraming salamat again for watching us and listening to Travel Well. Again, yun nga po. Kung meron kayong destination or islands na hindi pa natin na-discover, please send in your entries. We will go and visit your places and we will feature here in Travel Well. Ayan. So, again, um, we have like four minutes to go, but I'd like to share lang this to you. Um, this uh, very inspiring um, adage that I, I re it really helped me and inspire me. You know, I can do all things through Him who strengthens me. That's Philippians four thirteen. So at times we're worried, at times we're so anxious, but you know, if we anchor ourselves upon Jesus and upon God, then definitely we can do all things through Him who gives us strength. Ayan. So again, maraming maraming salamat po. I hope na pasaya namin kayo as we shared all these new things, all these great, wonderful places and islands in the Philippines. Let your wellness take you to places. This is Christine Verdiflor Mahadilias. Good evening po. Sumayin nyo ang pinakabagong programa sa DWIC hanggang sa susunod na lunes, alas 6 hanggang alas 7 ng gabi. Travel well. Travel well. Let your wellness take you to places. Bye.